All right, welcome everybody. This is going to be really exciting. We have 14 minutes and 48 seconds to decide if Solana alone can support all of Wall Street demands. Uh, Max, can you give like a 10 second introduction to yourself? We'll get to your opening statement in a second. Just introduce yeah. yourself. To Hi, everyone. Crowd. I'm Max. I work at Anza. We work on the Agave client, building Solana, making it IBRL, making it ready for internet capital markets. Amazing. Ren, perfect. You look just like your photo. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Ren. I'm a general partner at Electro Capital. Um, we've been longtime investors in Solana, supporting the ecosystem bitwise as well, um, and excited here to uh, play devil's advocate to Max. <laughs> That's right. All right, we're going to run this as a traditional debate. We're going to give two minute opening statements, and then I'm going to moderate a discussion. Uh, Max, we'll start with you. Two minutes. Started at 14, you get to 12. So can Solana support all of Wall Street's demands today? I'm going to argue yes. But first, what are those demands? I think there's three things that they really want. They want the scale to handle all the trades that they process. They want the market structure that will preserve the deep liquidity and tight spreads that they're used to. And they want regulatory clarity about what's kosher and what's not. On scale, we've made tremendous strides thanks to the work of Anza and Firedancer developers over the last two years. We actually had 100,000 transactions per second on mainnet, not on testnet, not in a white paper, in production this year. And the only thing that went wrong, we actually fixed it right afterwards. So that's ready today. Market structure, the prop AMMs are evolving in real time. They're providing tighter spreads. They're doing three times the volume of Binance on Sol USD right now. It's hyper competitive, and it's getting tighter and more liquid every day. On the clarity side, we have NASDAQ listed securities, Class A securities, on chain on Solana today through uh, people like Superstate. So that's already on chain today again. But let's flip it on its head. Is the current Wall Street infrastructure really ready to support what they want to do? It has a lot of problems too. For example, to issue a security on Wall Street, you hire underwriters, they hire counsel who file with regulators. So then you deposit. Certificates at a central depository, it immobilizes them and credits position to custodians who credit subcustodians, who credit beneficial owners through transfer agents who maintain registers. OK, that's issuance. Now you want to trade. Uh, you don't trade your own assets. You trade somebody else's, so there's counterparty risk. There's clearing houses. They step in to novate and provide margin. None of that's atomic with cash settlement. OK, that's trading. And then what about settlement? Well, it's all on a T plus 1 cycle. So those registers that we talked about earlier are always slightly wrong, and you can never know who actually holds your security. On Solana, you issue it on Solana, you trade it on Solana, and you settle it on Solana in T plus one millisecond, not T plus one day. All right, 100,000 transactions per second, removing all the middlemen. You have the floor, Ren. Great. Uh, thank you for the opening, Max. Um, I have four, four main themes I want to touch on today. Um, the first theme is about where Solana is today and not necessarily where Solana is going in the future. Um, in terms of where the network is today, Solana today is not ready to support Wall Street's demands. On throughput alone, the peak message demands dwarf Solana's current TPS budget. There are millions of messages per second on uh, peak load on NASDAQ, um, trillions of messages a day on NYSE. And that's not even considering all of the dark pools and various ATSs that surround the major exchanges. And even if we strip away the limit orders and keep the transactions to settlements, um, we're still orders of magnitude um, away as of December 11th, 2025. Um, second, the vast majority of Solana programs today have audits done uh, pre-deployment, uh, which makes a security profile challenging for Wall Street to adopt it today. It's really tough for institutions to deposit hundreds of millions of dollars into opaque programs that are sometimes upgraded multiple times a day. Before we talk even about onboarding Wall Street, how about we onboard the digital asset treasuries first? They're the most crypto-native uh, public companies and participants in, in TradFi markets. And if they're not even able to use liquid staking tokens or deposit into Camino, we can't, if we can't even onboard them, then let's forget about onboarding the rest of TradFi. Um, my second theme is revolving around legal finality versus cryptographic finality. Um, legal finality um, in markets allow for error corrections, busted trades, regulatory interventions. It involves courts, arbitration, 
and central authorities. And this law is also different depending on the region. Cryptographic finality is something that we're all familiar with. Um, but the tension between these two is a debate for judicial systems around the world in various countries um, for the decades to come. Third, Solana is fast, but not set up to support the heterogeneity of global markets today. Wall Street is not New York. Wall Street is not Chicago. Wall Street and the traditional financial system is spread throughout the world in hubs like the UAE, Hong Kong, Singapore, Tokyo, Shanghai. Um, and the, the laws of physics make creating these, connecting all of these regional hubs very, very challenging in terms of where the single leader network is today. Um, those are, those are my, my All my right, comments. I love it. Max, we'll yeah. go back to you. What do you say about a million transactions per second and trillions per day? Is it really ready? So I think that's a consequence of a very bad financial market design in traditional finance that's antiquated. It's based on central limit order books, which we know now are not the best design for markets. We have on chain a new system, proprietary AMMs, where a single Oracle update does the equivalent of what would be hundreds of transactions on a Wall Street um, market. And one of the things that they do to make these numbers seem really big is they have these like terrible market structures where they have price time priority. And so when you place an order on the order book, you get priority based on when your order arrived. And so if you arrive late, you have to cancel it and replace it. We don't have to do that. That's a terrible system. And it creates an inflated transaction demand. Um, yeah, I think today we can handle a lot of trades. We're going to have P token early next year. That'll be even more trades. We're going to continue IBRLing. I think you should start onboarding now. <laughs> and uh, by the time everybody realizes what they've lost, you're going to be way ahead of the competition. I love it. Max talking about fake volume in TradFi, uh, which is an irony. Um, uh, 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 I, guess, I guess, what do you say to that? Is, is, is Wall Street even the right target? Should we be talking about replacing Wall Street as it is? Or should we be talking more about what Max is saying, which is like this alternative system that's better, faster, cheaper? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, just a quick uh, counterpoint to Max. Most of the private AMMs today, at least the way they're quoting, they just take Binance's mid and um, a very weak um, form of alpha and offer that through an RFQ, effectively an RFQ system. Um, Maybe the um, ones in your portfolio, but you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm glad okay. I'm in the middle. Uh, uh, I, I, I think for I think I think the allure of the trillions of dollars, um, both of assets and volumes that are driven through the traditional financial system, are really alluring. But I I really think that the opportunity for Solana is doing things that the current system cannot. So there are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of small to mid-sized digital cross-border businesses that I think have true struggle access to capital. Access to capital in the US is quite easy for the brightest entrepreneurs, but elsewhere around the world, it's more challenging. And I think there's tremendous opportunity for Solana to focus on becoming the place where businesses can go public online. I love that. Um, let's see, what, what, let's, let's talk about if we even want one chain to replace Wall Street. I know that's a big debate. In Wall Street, we chop it up into a million different pieces. We separate issuance, trading, settlement, and clearing. You made the case that that sounded complex. I guess what would be the steel man argument against your point of view? And, and do we really want it all in one place? Is that too much to put on one ecosystem? Yeah, I think if you tried to put it on Ethereum, it would fall over and die because they're not ready to go. They don't have the features necessary. They don't have the scale necessary. Um, so I think there's an argument to be made that you should design each little piece in such a way that it does exactly what's what it's designed to do, and maybe you get a better outcome that way. I think the, the counter argument to that is when you start hooking them up, that's where all the tension and all the bad stuff happens. And so the modular designs, you know, even though within each component it acts really well and it's designed for that, uh, they're not designed to work together, and, and that's kind of the issue with it. Yeah, now you're doing a, an admirable, honest job of defending ETH at this community. So I want to give you credit for that. And I know you're a big Solana supporter as well. But make the case for this modular design. What's the best response to what Max said in terms of, is that a better structure for replacing Wall Street? Well, Wall Street today is quite modular. Um, like each of the respective regions have their own set of jurisdictions. Um, there, are, there are a small set of globally important financial institutions. But by and large, 
the way that the market structure looks like in TradFi, it is quite modular and distributed. Um, I think there are tremendous economic benefits from having the whole stack on one system, but I think the practicalities and the realities that crypto has to um, be okay with is understanding that um, although one chain to support them all would be, in theory, economically efficient, um, I'm sure there are plenty of different regions and countries in the world who would like to have some, like, their own opinion and potentially different choices that are predicated on more regulatory uh, types of reasons and less about pure, pure efficiency. Yeah. When you close your eyes and imagine the future state, do you imagine it all on one chain or do you imagine like a 60, 30, 10? Do you imagine a regional distribution? What do you actually think is going to happen? I think uh, probably 90% will happen on one chain. But I think that time scale is not a five to 10 year horizon. I think it's something that probably our children or our children <laughs> will, will grow up when. There you go. One chain to rule them all eventually. I want to throw that to you. What do you, when you, you close your eyes and there's not a room listening to you, what do you think the future looks like? <laughs> I just see Solana everywhere. Just Solana everywhere. Going in all over the world into this one place. All the trades are happening here. Yeah. All right. What's the thing that could, could break that for you? I think the, it's us. If we don't ship, if we don't do the work that needs to be done, if we don't pound the pavement and get people on board, and, and they don't know anything about Solana today. And so even this week, people are at Abu Dhabi Finance Week like, what is Solana? Is that like Avalanche? No, that, that's not like that. That's Solana. We got to educate people, and we got to like keep going and keep pushing on that and keep pushing on the technical front as well. Could it go too fast? The, the chairman of the SEC said a few days ago that all U.S. stocks would be on chain in a couple of years. For context, there's about $680 million of stocks. That's $68 trillion. That's literally 100,000x. Uh, if that happens in a few years, will Solana be ready? I think we're ready today. Like, it's a blockchain. It's permissionless. You can build whatever you want. If it doesn't have the thing that you want today, you can go and build it because it's a blockchain. You can write your own program, and it can do whatever you want. Do you think we're ready today? I don't think we're ready today. I think Solana is probably like the leading contender for where this all happens. But it's important also to recognize that crypto and Solana is relatively early on in its global adoption, and especially adoption from TradFi. I'm personally still waiting for Fire Dancer. I would love to see multiple concurrent leaders happen next year. Um, I think that it's important for the Solana ecosystem to keep a day one mindset and to understand that although the ecosystem has come a long way, that there's still a lot of work to be done. Does the, does the MCL idea solve your physics problem? It does, yeah, to some degree. Right. Um, yeah, when are we going to get there? Come to my talk tomorrow uh, on the death stage. Oh, wow. There's some alpha from the debate for people who are taking notes. Um, all right, we have one minute and 37 seconds left. I guess I'll go to closing statements. We want, it, we want to stay on time. What's the, what's the strongest three-sentence pitch you can make for Solana being the one chain to rule them all? I don't even need three sentences, okay? Issued on Solana, traded on Solana, settled on Solana. All right, that's three phrases. That's pretty good. All right, that gives you a minute 10, so Max just seated you a bunch of time. What's the strongest pitch uh, for the other version, for at least until your kids' kids are here, for it being a multi-chain, diversified world? I, I think the, the single strongest reason that I have today is that the real world is really complicated. When you build systems within a digital realm, you can keep everything very elegant and simple. But when you are building software for the real world, the complexities of the real world has, like, gets melded into the software in itself, which introduces a lot of complexities. I think these are things that are solvable, but I don't think it's where the network is. I, I, I don't believe it's feasible today, but I think Solana has a great shot in the future. It's a great shot. 24 seconds. If it has such a great shot, if even for our non-Solana voice here, which you played so admirably, um, when will the market valuation recognize that? I think the market valuation will start to recognize that when, when things like fire dancership, when things like multi multiple concurrent leadership, I think one of the biggest concerns from the market is that Solana has lost its edge 
And I, I, I still think it has the dog in it, but I think that's something that we'll see over the, the years to come. All right, we're going to go to the speech tomorrow, Max, and see if it still has the dog in it. Uh, everybody, give a big round of applause for Ren and Max.